This is sudden and sad news for Hollywood tonight after actor Matthew Perry was found dead in the hot tub in his Los Angeles home just after 4 p.m. California time. He's going to be remembered as that guy that made us laugh on Friends. Friends changed his life for a decade. He was on the number one show on television, made millions and millions of dollars. In a heart-wrenching twist that feels straight out of a tragic Hollywood script, Matthew Perry, cherished globally as the quick-witted Chandler Bing from Friends, was found lifeless at his Los Angeles residence, submerged in a hot tub. The beloved actor, only 54, left the world questioning. What led to the untimely demise of such a bright star? Renowned for his effortless humor and captivating presence on screen, Perry's journey was a blend of dazzling highs and daunting lows. A year after the release of his memoir Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, which revealed the dualities of his life, the actor faced his final curtain. His demise, initially attributed to heart failure, has left fans and friends in a state of shock, with many grappling to understand the sudden loss of such a remarkable talent. Police vehicles lining his street overnight, firefighters and paramedics responding to a call at his house. The official cause of death, though, is still under investigation. Perry's memoir, A Candid Revelation, showcased his struggle with personal demons, painting a picture of a man dancing on the edge. From his first brush with addictive substances at the tender age of 14 to his battle with prescription medication following a jet ski accident, Perry's life was a turbulent ride. His words, if this doesn't assassinate me, I'm doing this again, echoed a haunting premonition. The Saturday of his passing was clouded with mystery. Perry's lifeless body was discovered in his hot tub. And while no illicit substances were found at the scene, prescription medications were recovered, hinting at a complex weave of circumstances leading to his demise. The investigation, led by Los Angeles Police Captain Scott Williams, refrained from confirming foul play, leaving the cause of demise a puzzle to be solved by the coroners. The entertainment world grieves, with tributes pouring in. Warner Bros. Television Group lamented the loss of an incredibly gifted actor, and NBC echoed the sentiment, celebrating his pitch, perfect comedic timing, and wry wit. His friends' co-stars, global leaders, and even former schoolmates like Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who shared a comical anecdote from their youth, paid homage to Perry's indelible mark. I left the message. I have some pride. Do you? No. <laughs> Despite the glitz of his career, Perry's personal life was a stark contrast. A man who once felt complete and utter euphoria while driving across the desert ended his journey in an unsettling stillness. His neighbors, who knew him as very pleasant and very, very friendly, expressed shock and sadness, capturing the disbelief of a community. As the sun set on Blue Seal Drive, where police tape cordoned off Perry's residence, the world was left to ponder. How did a man who brought laughter to millions, who stood out even among a cast of standouts, meet such a quiet and enigmatic end? Matthew Perry, an enigma to the last, leaves behind a legacy wrapped in laughter and shrouded in sorrow. Matthew Perry's Chandler Bing didn't just bring sarcastic humor to our screens. He redefined the way we use humor in everyday conversations. His distinct comic timing was not just about delivering lines, but also showcasing incredible physical comedy. Perry's skill was evident, managing to immerse in Chandler's character over a decade and 236 episodes, despite battling personal challenges away from the limelight. Friends wasn't just a series for Perry, it became his lifeline. Perry once stated, the magnitude of Friends' success and the bond with my co-stars was what kept me grounded. He added, navigating the realm of Hollywood without the crotch of Friends might have seen me succumb to temptations. That paycheck wasn't just about wealth, it was about the responsibility that came with it. It wasn't all jest and jokes for Perry, though. His portrayal of Chandler's relationship with Monica added depth to the show. Without the cliched hiccups and breaks that we see in many on-screen pairings, Chandler and Monica's love story was real, raw, and resonated with many. It exemplified that even someone seemingly cynical could become vulnerable in love. Their relationship serves as a beacon for many, emphasizing mutual respect and understanding in partnerships. Chandler's words to Monica, people might say, you need a lot, but I enjoy giving it all to you, encapsulates a pure, unadulterated love Many attributed Perry's popularity to his role as Chandler, which he initially viewed as a double-edged sword. Yet, in later years, he expressed contentment with leading behind such an iconic legacy. He mentioned, if there's one way to be remembered, Friends is a pretty solid choice. His unexpected passing stunned fans worldwide, but amidst the shock, one could imagine Perry, in his trademark style, offering a witty quip possibly along the lines of, didn't see that coming, did ya? Matthew Perry's battles were not unknown to the public, but the depth of his struggles behind the curtain of fame often remained hidden. It's essential for us to shed light on the quiet battles this iconic actor faced as the world grapples with the abruptness of his demise. Addiction, the big terrible thing, is far too powerful for anyone to defeat alone. But together, one day at a time, we can beat it down. The famed Friends actor didn't merely have a penchant for going too far. During the later seasons of the iconic show, 
he was often under the influence, pushing boundaries well on set, so much so that Jennifer Aniston once candidly voiced her concerns. We can smell it, she remarked in a caring yet forthright manner. While Perry even had a sober companion on set, his struggles were evident. The episode that featured Monica and Chandler's wedding was particularly poignant. Around that time, in May 2001, Perry was residing in a rehabilitation center. His memoir, friends, lovers, and the big terrible thing, while laced with humor and entertaining celebrity tales, predominantly spoke of his battle against addiction. It was eerily prophetic. The events mentioned in the book seemed as though they were unfolding in real time. A significant revelation was Perry's health scare in July 2019, which was just three years before the memoir's release. By January 2022, he had undergone his 14th surgery, attributed to his addiction struggles. Perry humorously penned, I finally have rock-hard abs, but they aren't from sit-ups. There's a backdrop to this narrative. In 2018, Perry faced a severe health crisis, a gastrointestinal perforation. Recounting the harrowing experience, he said, the doctors told my family that I had a two chance to live. Perry spent close to two weeks in a coma and five long months in the hospital, requiring significant medical intervention, including a colostomy bag for nine months. Because alone, you lose to the disease. And now I finally feel okay and feel like I've got some strength. However, by 2021, Perry was triumphant over his battles with addiction. In the run-up to the launch of his memoir in November 2022, Perry exuded gratitude. Speaking with people, he said, I am grateful to be alive, that's for sure. And that gives me the possibility to do anything. Perry considered his life a testament to resilience and strength. He believed his story was imbued with hope, emphasizing, I am here. Perry's memoir provides a glimpse into his perspective on addiction. He stated, There are two kinds of addicts, those who want to go up and the ones who want to go down. I wanted to melt into my couch and feel wonderful. In the end, one hopes that wherever he is now, he has found the serenity and happiness he sought. Reflecting on his own memoir, Perry eerily noted how it felt like he was speaking from beyond the grave. While the world reels in shock from his untimely passing, Perry, in his characteristic style, had already shared a forewarning. He was candid about the looming shadow of addiction in his life, remarking in his book that he was surprised it hadn't already claimed him. Now, as we remember him, it's crucial to acknowledge both the brilliance of his craft and the battles he faced off the screen. Because I was on Friends, more people will listen to me. So I've got to take advantage of that. I've got to help as many people as I can. The world's heartbreak at the loss of Matthew Perry reverberated loudly across various platforms where fans expressed their dismay and sadness. Uniting in grief, they reminisced about their favorite Chandler Bing moments, emphasizing the profound impact the actor had on their lives. One ardent admirer fondly remembered their teenage years, saying, this is so sad. I absolutely love Matthew Perry and Chandler. My early teenage years were all about friends. The sentiment was shared by many, suggesting a generational bond with Perry's most iconic character. For numerous fans, Friends wasn't just a show. It was a significant part of their adolescence and early adulthood. Others offered poetic tributes, reflecting on the brevity of life and the sorrow that comes with parting. A particularly poignant comment read, his eyes they closed and his last breath spoke. He has seen all to be seen. Farewell, my friend, I will miss you. While Perry's portrayal of Chandler is legendary, fans were quick to recall his other roles. One commented, sad to hear. His role in the whole nine yards always makes me crack up. This reminds us that Perry's talent spanned beyond the Central Perk coffee house, with his comedic prowess evident in a plethora of roles that continued to endear him to audiences worldwide. Yet, it's his Chandler Bing legacy that arguably holds the most significant place in fans' hearts. A sentiment echoed by a fan who mentioned, he was so good that the Friends writers said they weren't even sure if some of the lines were funny or not until he read them. Sometimes it didn't even matter if he got to the punchline. Damn, I'm so sad. This statement underscores Perry's unmatched talent, suggesting that he had an innate ability to infuse humor, sometimes even surpassing the script's intention. In essence, the collective mourning for Matthew Perry is a testament to his enduring impact. The overwhelming sense from fan comments is one of profound sadness for the loss of a talent that was so intrinsically tied to many of their formative years. The blend of emotions, from sorrow to gratitude for the joy he brought, paints a picture of an artist whose legacy will undoubtedly endure. For all of us who watched him week after week, shared laughs, and even shed tears alongside his characters, this loss is personal. And while we grapple with this sorrow, it's essential to remember the real man behind Chandler Bing, a figure of resilience, talent, and genuine humanity. Were you one of the countless who found solace in his humor? How has Matthew Perry, particularly as Chandler shaped or impacted your life, Share your stories, thoughts, and favorite moments in the comments below. It's a tribute, a catharsis, and a way to connect during these trying times. Remember, we're in this grief together. Until next time, take care and keep the memories alive.